She talks. She listens. She cares. She's Joyce Oglesby. In today's ever-changing world, Joyce takes on the hottest issues. She fights for what's right in America. I want to leave a legacy. How will they remember me? Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction. Window World. Nans and Crafts Florists. Squire Boone Caverns. And About Face Spa and Salon. Now, just ask Joyce. Leave that kind of legacy. And welcome to Just Ask Joyce. I'm Joyce Oglesby, your family life fix it pro, getting you fit for life and love every day God's way. Have a great show in store for you today. Now, we're going to be talking about zip line. Now, guys, I actually did it yesterday myself. I'd never zip line before, but I can say I've been there, done that. And you can check it out on my Facebook page if you'd like to see me zipping the longest line out at the Zip Line Adventures at Squire Room Caverns. We have special guests with us today. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But don't forget to stick around for the email from this lady who says she's tired of her husband. So we'll talk about that and more on this episode of Just Ask Joyce. And make sure that if you have a relationship question, you can write me justaskjoyce at gmail.com or call the number that will be listed there on the screen for you. Write it down and make sure that you get in touch with me before you let your legacy go down the tubes. Now, let me, without further ado, introduce you to the Zip Line Adventurer people. All right, I have a studio full of people today. We're, Logan is off to the side and he's gonna come up all geared up at the end of the show. But this is Jean Haverty. Welcome, Jean. And of course, Ethan Haverty, is, her son, is seated to my right here. And then Doug Cohen. Did I say it right, Doug? You did. All right, you so did. what do all these people have to do with the zip line adventure at Squire Boone Caverns? All right, Jean, um, this was kind of your pipe dream, I guess we could call it that. Um, but it kind of just caught hold with everybody sitting here. So what would make you want to come up with something like a zip line? Well, we love the outdoors, and I met Doug quite a few years ago, and it just kind of was a natural fit to just move into this uh, zip line business because we met the Conways at the cave, and it was a good fit, and the facility is gorgeous, and it was the perfect spot for it. it and is. with Doug's uh, ability to, to construct it, it was just a good fit, and it just kind of worked out really well for us. That's so cool. Now, I actually went out and zip lined yesterday. Now, I took my grandkids not too long ago because they were here with Mimi and we wanted to go out. And some of them were a little bit timid. One of them was too small. She was only four, so she couldn't go. But um, they, they did the short line because the, the big line was not open at that point, but weather kind of detained it and things like that. But then Webby and I went out and zipped the big one yesterday at the capable hands of Ethan and Logan who made us feel very, very comfortable, me, because I had never done it before. But now, Doug, I, you know, as I was traversing the trail and, you know, elevating up to all the big lines, there was a lot that you had to do to construct this thing. Tell yep. us a little bit about it. There was. We spent a lot of time there. Gene and I first spent a lot of time just laying it out and getting our elevations correct and everything like that. And then then we started buying our poles and doing everything else that we needed to. And Ethan helped a lot too. Uh, it took us a while to get it all up and running, but it's there now. It is there. And what I, what I love so much now, we're, we're actually looking at some footage right now of the zip line. And I think this might be the longest run, is it, Jean? Is this one of the longest ones? That is actually uh, one of the runs on the canopy. Now there's the longest run uh, right there. That was a yeah. glorious view. Yeah. It was awesome. All right, so, you know, how, how fast are we going there? Maybe 35. It depends on your weight. Uh, the heavier you are, the faster you go. So I didn't get up to 55, huh? Oh, no, I think, maybe not. I think we've, cl we've clocked it close to 40. That's, that's pretty awesome, though, with nothing around you, you know. But, but it is so secure. And I can tell you, Ethan, you really put me at ease, you and Logan both, because you were like, OK. It, of course, Jean, as I was leaving, of course, you can see Squire Village there, because there's so much more than just a zip line, and we'll talk about that. 
but as we were leaving, Gene says, you got this, Joyce, you got this. But you guys, you know, we went in and we strapped up and we're at the end of the show, we'll, we'll show people what they're going to be strapped in. But you just put us at immediate ease. Just you took us out, and of course you showed us the the little spot where Squire Boone, the burial cave, yeah, yeah, the burial cave where he, you know, he really was spared uh, his life there. But you took us up to I don't know what do you call those stations or whatever where you go up and you climb up on that ramp thing. Yeah, each each platform. Platform. Yeah. I knew you'd come up with it. And uh, as far as the at ease, you know, you take people up there, they're, they're out of their element, they're very uncomfortable. You gotta yeah. do everything you can to try to help them out, get them through it. Yeah. Um, just, just anything you can do to get them through there. Now, I'm sure that you, you, know, you, you don't always encounter a rookie like me, someone who's never ever been on a zip line and had a little bit, I, I, could you tell I was a little bit tense at first? A little bit at first, but I think you did just it went away towards the end, yeah. Enough. It went away really quickly, didn't it? Um, but people come, uh, when Webby and I drove in yesterday, we were behind a car from Missouri, and we know that they went through the zip line, and so people are hearing about the zip line even from outermost parts of our country and beyond, I hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had folks from all over the world. We have a map in the uh, office, and we have pins in it, and we have them from probably 25 different countries. That is so cool, just to come and zip in Indiana. Mm -hmm. It's the longest zip line, for one thing, in yeah. Indiana. Yeah, we Not have in the world, but in Indiana. No. We have a single line uh, that's 2,500 feet long, and if they rode both courses, they'd get 10,000 feet. That's so cool. I, 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 did, I, did I do 10,000 feet yesterday? No, not, not quite. Not quite, because I didn't do all the little short line. No. Now, there's a short line, so if people are a little timid about this and they kind of want to trial run, mm -hmm. what do they do? Quick, it's our quick zip. Quick zip. Yeah, we have a quick zip that's just the last two lines of our canopy tour, and then we have our canopy tour, and then we have our long course. Now, Doug, can we trust those cables? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Their weight isn't an issue far as that, we do have a weight, a minimum and a maximum weight on what we can take and what will fit into our harness. We have that, but weight to 1,000 plus pounds. You won't be too heavy as oh, far right. as that is. I don't think anybody has to worry about that. 1,000 no, plus, that'll, that's what it'll hold. So you do not have to worry. And you don't have to worry about maybe being too old. Now, I know that one of my listeners slash viewers came and Berlin Cook, I mean, he was like so excited. That was on his bucket list to do was to zip line. And of course, you know, I made arrangements through you and Berlin went out and zipped. He said it was a thrill of his life and he was 80. But now that may not be your, your top age, I don't know. 94. Not, 94, you see, anybody can do this, I'm telling you. And I know my, uh, the, um, our nine-year-old granddaughter, one of, one of our nine-year-old granddaughters did it. The other one's a little bit timid right now, but she'll, she'll build up to it. She zipped it and didn't have any trouble. Now, that was, again, the, the short run, but mm -hmm. not the long run. But she is already excited. She's like, I want to go back, Mimi. I want to do that long run. I want to do it. And so she's excited. So kids, you can do it. Parents, grandparents, make this a family affair. That's what I say every time. Make it a family affair. You go out. And, of course, uh, as we saw in the video, there's so much more than just a zip line there because Squire Boone Village is right there. You, you mm. are kind of, you know, you, you drive into Squire Boone Caverns, the village, and then, you know, you just, you're right there, right at, you know, the top of that hill. And um, you go in and sign some waivers, and you're on your way. Mm -hmm. It is so much fun. So. You, we were asking you yesterday, Ethan, about mm -hmm. how many times you had zipped the course already. Oh, gosh, uh, dozens probably, at least. So, uh, who, who tried it out the first time? I, the very first time. On the new course? On the new course. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think mm -hmm. on almost all of them, I think I was the guinea pig. I think Doug, I think mm -hmm. Doug was the first one. On the long line, I was the first, first one. one. On but the then on the rest yeah. of them, he was pretty well. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 it so, is. Well, and so how long is the longest you told us? 2,500 feet. 2,500 feet. The longest line. Now, I can tell you, here it is again. Look, you go out, you're above the trees. And mm -hmm. you, again, if you have fear of heights, I'm just going to say this because when I was younger, I didn't have much fear of heights. I'd climb all over everything, I'd swing from trees and all kinds of stuff. But the older I got, the more timid I got about um, heights. But that was not a factor for me at all. It, it, I think, it, you know, I was just a little bit timid, a little bit anxious about what to expect because 
I was afraid I would, wasn't going to be able to stop necessarily. Yeah, that's a lot of people's worry. Uh, and once that got out of the way, um, and or of course you guys trained us, you, you do a little instruction course mm -hmm. there for a little bit. And once you started doing that, then we were like, I was home free yeah. uh, after that. And so you don't, it doesn't matter if you're scared of heights. I'm telling you, you will not, that will not be the factor that you worry about and it'll be over in no time. We're going to come back and talk to you guys some more and we're going to show them what it really looks like to be geared up and ready to rock and roll on the Zipline Adventure at Squire Boone Cameras. Don't go away. There is so much more today on Just Ask Joyce. And remember, we've got the email coming up. His wife is tired of her husband. Let's see what we're going to say about that. Don't go away. You're watching Just Ask Joyce, where real life and family values connect. Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction, Window World, Nans and Crafts Florists, Squire Boone Caverns, and About Face Spa and Salon. And welcome back to Just Ask Joyce again. I'm Joyce Oglesby, your Family Life Fix-It Pro. I love to fix your relationship issues. And if you are having one, you write me, justaskjoyce at gmail.com. I can't help you if you don't write me, but I am happy to. This is our Window World email bag session. But before I go into that, I want to talk about these beautiful flowers from Nanza Craft. They grace our table every show and they do an absolutely superb job. Look at the gorgeous roses that they have. The, of course, I mean, they've got white, they've got the coral, it's beautiful. The Gerbera daisies and the trichillium uh, green things that just are kind of fillers, but aren't they beautiful? And I just have to say that the last time they did the sunflowers that the next day I saw them on Fox and Friends kind of tried to emulate what Nansen Craft done. It was a poor job, Nansen Craft rocks. So make sure that you use them for your next festive occasion. All right, let's get to the email because I want to address this. I love my husband, but I am so tired of being married to him. I work long hours because I want to advance in my company. We have two kids at 6 and 10, and all they do is scream and yell at me until he gets home. Then they're like angels. He's a good man. He does a lot around the house to help me, and I know I should be grateful, but all he does is argue with me, so I go to bed early to stop the arguing. Basically, I get no respect. I think that would fix things. How can I make that happen? Okay, so here's Joyce's fix, all right? Let's go through this. Number one, I want you to reset your priorities because I think you have them way out of skew, sweetheart. I'm sorry, you're probably not going to like my answer. It's not going to be favorable, but you know I shoot it straight, and I'm going to help you fix things. So let me just say that you have your priorities way out of line. Number one, I want you to be a wife. Be a wife first. You know, God kind of has order of things. He says, you know, put me first, then your spouse, then children, then other things, all right? That means your job should be coming under your husband, your children, and then you can think about work. But you have this way out of proportion and it's so askewed, that is what's complicating your whole family issue. You want to advance in your company, but I'm just gonna say, what, def you know, what, what is it gonna to, to profit you on your deathbed if you think your fellow employees or your boss are going to be standing around your bed, deathbed wishing that, you know, you were not going to pass away? No, it's going to be your family who are there, your loved ones. So be an employee after you are a wife and a mom. Would you do that? And then I want you to change your attitude because, quite frankly, you're very demanding. You know, you're demanding that everybody else be fixed and not you tweaking anything in your life. And I think that until you start tweaking your attitude, the kids certainly are in rebellion. That's why they're yelling at you. That's why you're not getting any respect. And then you go to bed early. So when are you intimate with your husband, if you are at all? I mean, you see how out of skew things are. And then I'm going to tell you that when, when you change your attitude, act your way into a better way of feeling. Because a lot of people think they're going to they're going to act and feel better, but you can't. You have to feel better about things in order to act it. So, you know, act your way into a better way of feeling, and then the feelings will just come. 
They'll just come. But you do. You have to put that first foot forward. If I said that backwards, sorry. But you, you get what I'm saying. You have to act your way into a better way of feeling. It's not going to come unless you put something into this. And so far, you're expecting it from everybody else but yourself. We'll be back. Don't go away. Thank you so much for joining me today. Listen, tired of being a wife does not cut it, but you have to get wisdom. And how do you get wisdom? Well, I'm gonna put my quote up for the day, all right? My quote for the day, wisdom comes in two ways, listening and ignoring. Now you can hear what I've said and take heed and try to tweak things or you can ignore it. But either way, you're gonna learn the lesson. And sometimes we, ha we learn lessons the hard way, don't we? I know that our mistakes sometimes are our best teacher, right? But here's the thing, family, when it comes to family, that's a mistake we don't wanna make. That's something we don't wanna learn the hard way. And so you make sure that you apply some of these things, try it, on for size and see if things start changing in your home life, all right? We'll be back after the short break and we're gonna revisit Zip Line Adventures out at Squire Boone Caverns. I'm telling you, it is a thrill and you have to do it. Go to my Facebook page and see what a thrill it is. Don't go away. There we are, guys, at the Square Boone Zipline Adventures. And I can tell you, it was a thrill. I did that. I did that. And these guys made it possible for me to do that. Ethan and Logan here, I'm telling you, we're going to show you right now. Logan is all, this is what you're going to look like when you get all, all geared up. And I know, Jean, you've probably said, uh, I think you have, have said, people ask you all the time, am I gonna fall out? Now, I did think about that, but I would not dare ask that out loud yesterday because I had two capable young men who were in charge of me and they were awesome. But you don't, you strap everybody in and you give them a helmet. That's not so in case you crash down off of the zip line. That is because you don't want you to hit those cables as you're going up on the platforms, right, Ethan? I believe yep. you were telling me that, or one of you guys did. But it was the thrill of our life, one of mine. I didn't have it as my bucket list, but now I don't have to because it was so much fun. But this is definitely a family affair. Would you say that? I would, yeah. I, I keep telling people they need to make memories. And it, what a great, I saw a lot of families out there yesterday. It is, and that's what's a reward to us is when we see a family come and we can have their the mom and dad come and we can make the children enjoy it and we see the whole family enjoys it. That's a reward to us. Of you know, course. something for us to, to see that the family enjoys it. And we like to make the kids feel safe and I, I like children. Well, that was obvious and you take such good care of your people and I, I, I didn't just watch Webby and myself and you know I watched other people's experiences mm -hmm. as I was out there yesterday too and here's another uh, uh, video that you'll get to see. Logan was that you? Yeah. Huh? There you go bud you were just zipping down yeah. that thing. There you are. I, who's that bearded man? Austin. All right I haven't met Austin. All right but it was just wonderful guys it's an experience but I loved it because I saw grandmoms and grandpas. I saw aunts and uncles and sisters, older sisters and younger sisters, all ages out there. And that's the beauty of just going out to the village anyway, because there's so much that you can do out at Squire Boone's. But the zip line is certainly a major attraction this year. And now that you have the longest one in Indiana, they need to come out. Now, you can ask for Ethan, you can ask for Logan, you could ask for any, but I don't know how many people, even you, do some mm -hmm. tours. I do. Um, but it doesn't matter. I've had Amber, you know, she was wonderful as well. I don't care who you get, you're going to love what you experience out at the Zip Line at Squire Boone Adventure, uh, Zip Line Adventure, Squire Boone Caverns. Make sure you come and enjoy it and tell them just ask Joyce that sent you, right? So that they'll know that they saw it right here on this mm -hmm. show. But thank you guys again so much for your passion. I love the legacy here being passed on down to Ethan because I can tell you, Mom, 
from one mom to another. It was thrilling to hear this young man as he was escorting us up the trails yesterday, up to the different platforms. Him and Logan, too, talk about the thrill that it was and, and the sweat equity that some of you, all of you, yeah. have in it. Now, he confessed, that, Logan, you confessed you didn't really have sweat equity now, but you do have the passion. I do have the passion. Yes, you do. And I just, I love that. But it's being passed on. Uh, in your son and so moms like to hear that sometimes so I just we want do. to put that in your ear and just let you know you have one fine young man here oh, thank you very proud very proud for you all right guys make sure that you make some family memories this summer or this fall and you know what I'm gonna go back and do it in the fall it's got to be beautiful over those trees in mm -hmm. the fall right here in the Kentuckiana area and guys across the river you have no idea what you are missing not coming across that beautiful bridge and going to Squire Boone's. Now you can go by way of Brandenburg if you'd like, or you can go through downtown Corydon and get there that way, or you don't have to go to downtown, you just catch 135. But right where I am in Corydon, you can stop by and see me. I'll even come with you, all right? So make sure that you do the zip line adventures before the summer is over, hopefully, but put it on your bucket list, regardless of your age. And remember, up to a thousand pounds, so you can do it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Joyce Oglesby, again, your Family Life Fix-It Pro. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Like me on, no, like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Do the LinkedIn thing, whatever. Follow me on your social media. But just get in touch with me if you have a relationship issue because you don't want yours to get tiring. All right? Not your marriage, not your family, not on your watch. I'm Joyce Oglesby. I'll be back next time. And in the meantime, I'm in battle for his cause.